and welcome to our Digital Enterprise Modular Production Showcase. Before we start, let's talk about flexibility for a second and why this is so important for plant operators as well as machine builders. As you all surely know, is the industry constantly adapting to new market requirements. For example, this can be an increased demand or a change to a new product. A company that was producing, let's say, shampoo is switching to producing disinfectants because the market demand has changed. And these companies need to adapt their production in the shortest time possible without high complexity and engineering efforts. And now we're going to show you how this flexible manufacturing works. Marvin, flexibility in manufacturing, what does that mean to you? Well, Magnus, just give me one or maybe two minutes and I will show it to you. For example, this machine here is a pretreatment module which treats liquids for chemical and pharmaceutical processes. This module is already automated, pre-tested and ready to use in terms of plug and put use. And that's the basis for modular production you've already mentioned before. So let's say we want to produce a different product in an existing facility, basically going from shampoo to disinfection. And I think that's really a good example because this requires a highly efficient and fast adaption of the plant with low engineering efforts and short commissioning times. And the solution therefore is modular production with the principle of plug and produce. Plug and produce, it almost sounds like bringing Lego bricks together, but I imagine doing this in a production environment where you have the highest requirement for safety and health, it could still be a pretty big challenge. That's totally true. And one key to solve that is the automation standard module type package MTP, which is driven by established industry associations in process industries. And that in combination with our advanced digital enterprise portfolio really brings the vision for modular production to life. So no more plug and play, we now have plug and produce. Great, no more plug and play. So why don't we hear it from our customers? Evonik sees MTP as a future standard and a game changer for the process industry. A German VDI standard is already available and the IEC standard is in preparation. Evonik will make the MTP functionality the requirement an integral part of our RFQ specification in the future. As Evonik, we invest in the standardization of MTP and first applications. We do this jointly with a NAMUR and together with our partner organizations, such as the ZBEI. Uh, we have demonstrated in various applications that MTP technically works. We also realized that more effort is needed for further improvements. Evonik operates currently over 50 modules built to the MTP standard, mainly in lab and pilot plants. And we also implemented a first application in a world scale production plant in Singapore. There we integrated a package unit into a central DCS system using the MTP standard. Cooperation and interoperability are key to success. That is why we work together with various vendors. An important one of them is Siemens. Great to hear that this brings real added value. So Marvin, why don't we take a closer look in detail how this actually works? Yes, for sure. So let's go back to the scenario that we want to produce a new product in an existing production. For that, plant operators need to transfer market demands to production requirements. In short, they need to turn complexity into a competitive advantage. But how can we do that? Right, you know it with the digital twin. And that's exactly what you can see here. With the digital twin of their production, plant operators are able to define the exact requirements for the new module. And with the help of diverse sim simulation scenarios based on a digital twin, the decision is made in this case to add a new process module. Based on that decision, the machine builder starts now developing a pre-engineered, commissioned, MTP automated and therefore ready to use module with help of the digital enterprise portfolio of Siemens, in this case, Comos, Simit and TIA portal. Based on that, the module is ready for the already mentioned plug and put use and is integrated fast and easy in the existing plant environment. And behind the plug and produce concept, there are basically only two steps. The first is to plug the module physically into the existing production. 
And the second step is importing the MTP file via secure UPC UA connection into the overarching process control system, Simatic PCS Neo. So, Magnus, what do you think? Quite a good story, right? Very good, very good. This really sounds like bringing Lego bricks together. And I tell you, this works in reality. I've seen it with my own eyes in Karlsruhe, but why don't you convince yourselves? So what you can see here is my colleague Thomas, who is bringing the pre-treatment module physically to the so-called backbone system of the modular process plant. To bring the module to life then, we have the already mentioned two steps. Number one, the physical connection of the module, for example, to supply the module with water or pressure. And the second step is connecting uh, the module with the overarching process control system, in our case, Simatic PCS Neo. And now it's time for us to integrate our module into the process plant that we've got here. And luckily we got some magic powers, both Marvin and I. So are you ready, Marvin? We are strong, so let's do it. It's working, cool. Well, that reduced the complexity quite a lot. As promised. And at this point in time, we are not only producing a new product, but also producing and collecting a lot of data. And by constantly monitoring the performance, we enable you to optimize your production by leveraging the power of this data. That's really a good point. And we are supporting this with cutting edge technologies like industrial edge for local data collection and processing. We are also integrating artificial intelligence, which allows us to analyze huge amounts of data faster and more reliable. This can be used for applications or digital services to execute predictive maintenance or, let's say, a kind of anomaly detection. And one example for that is the asset performance suite, what you can see here. With help of artificial intelligence, the suite represents and automatically contextualizes plant's asset information in an holistic way. This representation of plant knowledge allows both machines and humans to understand the challenge, its context, but what's really important, also the root cause. And that's a big step towards autonomous asset management. So, plant asset management and predictive maintenance provide one opportunity to achieve the highest reliability and efficiency for all plant assets with help of the artificial intelligence. Really impressive, Marvin. Thank you very much. So with the help of our digital enterprise portfolio, you are able to manage complexity and by that increase your flexibility, efficiency and adaptability. And that for the entire life cycle of either a plant or a machine. So basically connecting all primary and secondary process steps. Thank you for watching and goodbye.